So in our first game of the season, we actually ended up taking an L. Now I'm kind of surprised that we did considering how well our rookie played with a 30 point performance. But unfortunately that was not enough as you can see the Wizards ended up outscoring us in that fourth quarter and they came back to take the victory. Now as you can see from this box score, our scoring is very lopsided with our rookie doing the majority of the scoring. I want to make sure this does not happen again going forward. I want to spread the scoring out among all of these players instead of just having one guy take over the game the way that Burks did. So we're going to have to work on that a little bit, make sure everybody's getting the right touches. It's not to say people weren't getting shots because Draymond Green went 1 for 11, Derek White went 3 of 12. So people were getting some shots up, they were just having a tough time hitting them. Now don't forget this is my GM, so we're going to go ahead and simulate like 2 or 3 weeks and then we'll jump into our next game. In between that time we're going to make some moves and you know just to make sure we keep everybody happy, especially our governor. So in between our simulation, Jacob Underwood, remember our newest head coach replacing Greg Pop, comes in and says Patty Mills is just not pulling their weight, we need to get rid of them. Now I'm not too sure I want to get rid of Patty Mills, he's got that veteran role on this squad. I know we're aiming to get a little bit younger this year, so maybe I may just have to get rid of Patty Mills to bring in like a lottery pick. Well, not a lottery pick, but you know, some kind of uh, asset that we can use going forward. So I don't want to promise to complete it because I do want to keep him, but we most likely will have to move Patty Mills at some point, so we're going to make it happen. We'll get rid of Patty Mills. So with that being done, we simulated one week. As you can see, we lost every game. We are now 0-6 on the season. We lost here against the Portland Trailblazers, but I mean, everybody did have a decent game. Burks did not, 2 of 11 from the field. That's tough to see. However, the Blazers, a little bit too much. They ended up winning this game by one point with McCollum leading the way. Then we lost against the Suns as well. This one was a bit of a blowout. We didn't really stand a chance uh, once we got into that third quarter. We lost against the Clippers as well. This one was a six point loss. On our end, Damari Carroll ended up leading the way. DeJounte Murray went 12, four and five, but all these numbers are kind of meaningless when we're losing games. Finally, we lost against the Warriors as well. This one was a 12 point loss, excuse me. Uh, pretty balanced scoring output from the squad. However, unfortunately, D'Angelo Russell, 37 and 10. Okay, buddy, he went off. Clay Thompson with 9, 8, and 5, and then the rest of their team were Steph. Maybe he's injured or something, but his Steph Curry wasn't even there, and we still lost. It's kind of crazy. So we're going to run through these next two weeks as well. Then we'll play the Mavericks or the Raptors or the Nets, so we'll see what we do going forward. But hopefully we pick up a win soon. This is getting a... Uh, it's getting kind of bad out there. So another week has went by, and we did pick up our first victory here against the Hornets. Finally... We got something going here, and look at this performance here from Draymond. 21, 9, 4, 4, and 3. He was all over the place. Uh, Burks, only 3 points in this game, but DeJounte Murray with a double-double, okay. Lonnie Walker with 18 and 3. Derek White with 16, 6, and 5. That's good. I'm glad we finally blew a team out, got our vi first victory on the season. However, we ended up losing against the Jazz here only by 4 points. We're losing a lot of close games. I'm hoping some way, somehow... You know, we can pull through some of these closer ones. And we lost to the Knicks as well. This one was a 10-point loss. And DeRozan is there in New York, so he's getting some revenge on us. But we still have time to improve. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this game against the Atlanta Hawks. They got a very solid team over there. Trey Young getting better and better as the years go by. Let's see what we can do against these guys. Hopefully, we can pull out a victory. Our starting lineup does look a little bit weirder than usual because uh, DeJounte Murray is actually injured right now. So... He's out of the starting lineup. He's completely out the lineup as well. We'll see how that affects us going forward. And we know Reed Burks is out there. Remember in game number one that we played with him, Burks was absolutely destroying everybody that he switched on to. So we're going to see if he can do the same again. He's a walking mismatch. As we're going to kick this out to Lonnie Walker. The three's up and in. Now I know this season has gotten off to a horrible start. We're currently 1-10 on the season, which is uh, not good. Oh, Trey Young goes back door and picks up a and one on Derek White. So going forward, we're going to see what the vibes are like this season. If it continues to be really bad, we might just go ahead and, you know, throw this season away. Just like how we did with my Wyoming Wild series. And then we quickly re rebuilt after like one year and put out a competitive team. We may very well do the same thing with the Spurs team. So we may just go ahead and simulate out the season and then jump into next season. But we'll see. We'll see. We got plenty of time left. Still very early on. 
But if we continue to go down this path of barely winning games, then I think that might be the best move for me and for you guys as well. So you don't got to suffer through a season of being, you know, one of the worst teams in the NBA. Good rebound there from McGee as Lonnie Walker's leaking. He has a quick five. Trey Young just launching these jumpers, man. He has been missing and missing as Draymond Green. You know what? I can just go ahead and post this up. I got a mismatch. Might as well expose it as Green gets his first two. Now, mind you, the Hawks are actually one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference this year. They are like 6-2 and two or 8-2, and two, something like that. So we're not going against the easy team as Melo is now in the game. I'm getting creative with these lineups a little bit. Getting very creative as I'm looking for a screen here from Fareed. Not the best screen. We're going to dive to the rim here as he's going to go up, pick up a foul on Cousins. He's going to the line for two. And I kind of see why they're a really good team. They got a very good roster. They got Goran Dragic out there. They got DeMarcus Cousins coming off the bench as well. DeAndre Hunter's putting up three balls like that. Miritich out of nowhere is back in the NBA. Him leaving the NBA is probably the, one of the weirdest things, right? Isn't it weird? Like, he was a decent player. He wasn't bad at all. And then he's just like, you know what? I'm going back to Europe. They paid him some big money to go back as Lonnie Walker trying to take it big, but Cousins says no. Jumping into that second quarter right now, and we can see that the Hawks are kind of taking control of this game, but not so fast as Lonnie Walker steals that. Um, Carmelo finishing that up nicely. Hawks are slowly but surely running away with this game as Lonnie being aggressive, missing the layup. Okay, it's not good. Oh, Miritich with the crossover. He's going to try to take it all the way. He does just that. It's an 11-point game. When I look at this team, the team we got out there right now, I don't see any player out there that can be the one to take control of the offense, be the guy to put up numbers. We really don't have that guy right now. That's a problem. I mean, we got Melo out here, but this is not 2006, 2007 Melo. This is Melo after he got cut by the Rockets and came back. Melo as DeMarcus Cousins being aggressive wants to fade away like that he's gonna miss let's see if we could finally get something going in transition I want to get the ball to Lonnie over to Trey Lyles maybe maybe on the fast breaks is where we're gonna get the bulk of our points but with that being said you guys know me I don't give up as we come up with another steal as Lonnie Walker doing it on both ends but as I was saying, I don't give up. I know even if we go down a bunch of points, I still try to work my way back into the game some way, somehow. That's what we're going to do here as we come up with another steal. Our defense starting to pick up as Burks is going to take it all the way and flying for his first two. Oh, good steal from Burks, though. Some great defense despite a slow offensive game today. Doing a great job, and we're picking up the and one. Lonnie Walker, let's go. Draymond and JaVale McGee running together here as McGee gets him up with an up fake and gets that one to drop in. John Collins trying to do his thing here. He's going to take it all the way against Draymond Green. He's going to miss. He's going to miss twice, but we can grab rebounds, man. We need some rebounds, rebounders out there or something. Trey Young wants to step back. He's missing that. We don't grab another rebound. Oh, my goodness. This is bad. Reaching this one minute mark in the second quarter. I'm kind of happy with how we've performed. We literally went down by like 15 points earlier. We've brought it back somewhat close as Green is going to miss a close Ranger right there. And the Hawks have a chance to build onto their lead a little bit. Trey Young wants to take it all the way. Some good defense. And we actually grab a rebound. Watch out now. Look at us grabbing rebounds. Get this inside to Green. No and one, but a foul on Trey. Only his first. We're going to go to the line for two. Picking this one up about midway through this third quarter, and things have slowed down for us offensively. Meanwhile, the Hawks have just continued to play their game very well as we turn the ball over here, and the Hawks looking to get loose, but I'm back on defense. But they get their own rebound. Surprise, surprise. I think if we lose this game, it'll be very easy just to blame it on the fact that we can't grab rebounds. I think they have an incredible advantage somehow on the glass as Burke steps out for a big three and knocks it down. He has five. See if he can perform the way he did in game one because if he does, maybe we make this comeback as Burks is going to drive all the way and get that layup to go in. Drogic with the ball. White has been tired this whole game. I feel so bad for him. Well, how does that go in, bro? We are playing some good defense on Drogic, but he's saying it doesn't matter. It's not enough as Trey Lyles gets a good look. Thankfully knocks that down. 
Five seconds left on the shot clock here for the Hawks as they're going to go to the lane and get that one to drop in. We got Fareed out there on Trey Young. We got mismatches all over the court right now, and I don't like it one bit. Let's see if we can try to figure out who's guarding who as DeMarcus Cousins, man. Put it on top of Burks. Welcome to the league, rookie. Oh, they got a mismatch down low. Cousins puts it up and misses. Okay. Lonnie Walker, I guess, playing some good Diaz. Burks, he has a size advantage here. Should be an easy layup. Let's go. Oh, good hands. We're going to need more of those, man. We're going to need a lot more of those. Lonnie Walker gets loose, caps that one off, and it is now a nine-point game. This is why we don't give up, right? We never, ever just stop playing. Trey Young trying to work off a screen here. He's going to go all the way and miss. Playing some good D. Unfortunately, they get their own rebound again. But thankfully, that time we actually are able to close it out. Lonnie Walker got a slasher takeover. No one's stopping him. 23 points. All right, into the fourth quarter we go now, down by nine points. So we're uh, we're in there. Herter gets a great look. I don't know how he got open. With these really weird lineups, though, we do have this mismatch that I like. We're going to try to expose Burks down low. Let's go, Burks. Herter can't guard him. We have Carmelo Anthony ripping up Trey Young. Yes, I said that. Carmelo got six points. All right, we got Lonnie Walker. We got Derek White back out there. So maybe we can get some uh, composure now as JaVale McGee goes up with the layup. Gets it to go in. Going to need a big final quarter from him. Pretty much from everybody. Everybody's going to need to step up. But Lonnie Walker has been our go-to guy. So he's going to have to continue playing well. Is he going to miss that jumper there? The Hawks. No. Oh, good hands, Burks. Way to get to that. Draymond Green, JaVale McGee. Oh, I want to go to McGee. All right, we'll slow it down. We'll slow it down, though. Derek White, still tired as ever, puts up the jumper and knocks it down a double-double for him. Trey Young being aggressive here. Puts up the jumper. Misses it. McGee on the rebound. He's got a double-double of his own. And Lonnie Walker, let's see if we just beat the defense real quick. Let's go, 25. Herter trying to be aggressive. Burks closing out nicely. They're going to try to go to Trey Young. I see it. Oh, what? How did he not lose the ball? What? We need a timeout. All right, I mean, this is it. Final three. Staying aggressive. Lonnie Walker, the jumper's up. And in. Lonnie Walker has really been that guy this game. Final two. Trey Young taking these screens left and right. He's going to put up a three ball. He's going to miss it. McGee is snagging in that rebound as Lonnie is getting loose. I see Burks running as well, and he's going up with big two-hander. It's a seven-point game. Let's go. Okay, back come the Hawks. Let's see what they got. It's a seven-point game. We lock up here. We get a good look on the other end. You never know what can happen. Trey Young trying to take a few screens here. He's going to try to go all the way. Burks is catching it, but a foul on the play. Stop it, 2K. Stop it. Herter with the ball. It's a seven-point game. Trying to be super aggressive with Lonnie Walker. Ten seconds left on the shot clock here for the... Hawks as Draymond Green reads that one perfectly. Derek White takes it all the way. The layup is green, and it's a five-point game. All right, final minute of defense. Let's see what we got going here. Derek White, as I've mentioned, super tired, man. I feel bad for the guy. He's basically played our whole game. That's Trey Young. He's going to take it in. What? Come on. Over Draymond Green, a great defender. I'm going to try to get something real quick here. JaVale, keep cutting, bro. Let's go. And we missed that. Are you kidding me, 2K? So Herter goes one of two at the line. Lonnie Walker, the three balls up. Misses. I think that's safe to say that's game. I don't think we're going to be making this comeback. We tried, though, and we did pretty decently. But that man right there, Trey Young, kicked it into another gear at the end of this game. And it was a little bit too much for us to handle. Unfortunately, we're unable to close it down all the way. We did get down to five points, but, again, not enough. Especially with the way Trey Young was playing this game. A little bit too much. It's going to be GG here. As we lost this game against the Hawks. I mean, we did make that little bit of a comeback at the end there. However, the Hawks, a bit too much to handle. They are one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference this year. So, that explains that. Lonnie Walker with 31 points, 4 assists, and 2 steals. A very solid game from him. Derek White with 14 and 12 Nice little double-double. Burks here with 13, 2, 3, and 3. The rookie 
pretty decent game. JaVale McGee with 12 and 13, Trey Lyles with 12 and 3, and then Draymond Green, who I think is next on the list to get traded. We might get rid of Draymond Green here, pick up another young player, maybe a pick as well. And then for the Hawks, Trey Young at 28 and 5, he killed it in that fourth quarter. It's really all that hurt that hurt us the most. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, man. Hopefully, we can turn this thing around. If we don't, like I said, we'll just blast through the season and get, you know, get it over with, so we can move on to a more competitive team. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what it's feeling like. I'd like to see your comments below as well. See what you guys are thinking. Uh, what we should do so on and so forth but like i said that's it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're new here make sure to subscribe to the channel if you liked the video hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one